Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. So, a uh, heads up, I have maybe an hour 20, hour 30 for this video. So right now it's 5.28 in the morning for me. And I go to the gym at my usual time of 7 o'clock. So I decided to wake up a little early and play a little Final Fantasy. Alright, Aaronville, what's up? A leaking work pot. Aaronville's concerned about the dangers of the road. The Mobland settlement of Earth Earthenshire is not far from here, but be warned, the road will be taken. Oh, people are calling me in Discord. Oh, that's a bit early, guys. Come on. We'll be taking his favored hunting grounds for bandits. But the stairs currently impassable, there'll be fewer traders, meaning the brig brigands will be desperate for victims in ambush. Although, considering the present company, I suppose my concern is unwarranted. Bandits on the road. What have Zoral Ja and the Landsguard been doing? Seems it's up to me to restore order to the area. And off she goes again. For now, we'll head west and aim for the bank of the second river. Alright, who's calling me? Who dares? Uh, so something I noticed, uh, the last video, not the last, last video, but the one before, for us testing my webcam. Fun fact! Apparently if you use this mount, Square Enix is like, no, 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 you're not allowed to use that mount. That bell theme is copyrighted. Yeah, got a copyright claim from that one, sadly. So for now, I'll just change my mount, because apparently I'm not allowed to use it. Um... I mean, I disputed it. We'll see what happens, but for now, I guess I'll change it. Alright, off we go. I'm going here, a leaky work pot where ruffling feathers is happening. The Widowmaker. Alright. Oh, wrong one. I keep hitting, trying to hit M, and I keep hitting N by accident. Earthenshire, so that's the one. So I'm gonna have all the crystals in this area tuned. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to do you. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. They're not going anywhere. Maybe I'll do this over here. Alright, let's do it. Give me a second. I want you to focus on... Oh wait, actions? Yeah, free stance. Alright, let's do this. Everyone get over here.
went smoothly enough. Not too bad. And until I see what happens with that video, I want to see if the copyright for that gets dropped, because honestly, I was playing a bloody video game and talking over the music anyways. But apparently the copyright ID just went no. I got claimed. Not a strike, just a claim, luckily. Would have been very stupid if it was a copyright strike. Oh, I see. This is the river which feeds the waterfalls of Okahanu. And again and again, I'm struck by the majest majest majesty sorry, majesty of the falls. It's difficult to comprehend the sheer volume of water this na natural wonder produces. I felt eyes on us several times as we made our way here, though they soon seemed we to lost lose interest. The bandit's lair is said to be somewhere near here, but I prefer we avoid seeking out trouble. Let me guess, she's going to seek out trouble. What? Well, where are the bandits? These bandits. Apparently, they're not foolish enough to attack a party of its size. Earthenshire is just a little further ahead on the opposite bank of Miyakabek. Miyakabek, Zoma. But let's remain vigilant all the same. Alright, let's go. Ooh, ain't the right current. One second. Also, I'm gonna change my mount, actually. We'll use you. Swamp Monk. You discovered a new location. Earth and Shire's over there. Okay, I don't see anything, honestly. Except a bunch of, you know... Creatures living in their natural habitat that I will probably have to kill one day. Jungle Iguana. Hmm. Alright, we're almost there. Immediately gonna tune that crystal. Oh, this structure seems interesting. Pack a keep, you got your moblins, which are goblins. Gonna tune the safe the right real quick, cause you never know when you have to teleport away. Alright, then the pack of key. Alright, you're ready. Is my equipment still good? Yeah, I would say my equipment's still good. Local merchant, do you think do you think they sell different loot? Or equipment I should say. Let's see. They do No, they do. Oh, that's a new tank. Oh, wow. I actually really like that. One second. And right there. That is actually a pretty good looking set. I'm not going to lie. Okay, what does the samurai set look like? Because I do like some samurai. Do not look at the right side of my screen until it's done. Uh, take away the hat, honestly, and it would be good. I do not like that type of headwear. But honestly, okay, these sets actually look really good. What does the gun blade look like? Hmm. Looks alright, honestly. What's the Dark Knight sword look like? Let's put you back on my back. Oh, that's very plain, not gonna lie. Hmm. No, the armor set here looks great. Now, what does the magic casting set look like? Immediately, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing that hat. Just saying. Not bad. Take away the hat. I think we're good. I take it the... Uh... Yeah, no, it's just alternate color. Okay. Yeah, no, the set here actually looks pretty okay. I like it. All right, we have people to talk to. Hey, welcome. So this is Earthenshire. Yes. 
Is that Kryle? Yep. Goodness me, it's like an entire village of... The entire village is made of pottery. Yeah, I was thinking it looked like a giant pot. Even as Hanahanu culture is distinct from the Vanu, the Mamla society has developed quite differently than our goblin cousins. Yeah, no, these guys don't look technolo technologically advanced. They are living in pottery. Now that they're claiming in sight, does that mean we're ahead or behind? Both. Nope. This is it. The village where the lay of pots from the Tulio Saga took place. So these guys are... Artisans, kind of. Earthenshire. Idlyshire. Might the similarity be a cultural inclination, I wonder. Inclination. There we go. The settlements themselves couldn't be more different, though. The Shire Pierce custom built to resemble pots, while the other is a repurposed town. Hello, Moblin. I killed many of your cousins. Oh, God. Welcome to Earthenshire. You have the pleasure of happy greeting the Third Promise and her retinue? That's us. We're looking for the Dawn Servant Selector, if you happen to know who that is. And let me guess, it's you. You are exchanging tongue flaps with her right now. Red... Redrick... Redrico? Red... No, Red? No, it's... Yeah, Red... Iraq. Red Iraq is the Elector you seek. Well, that's helpful. We can cut straight to performing the feat. As such, as much as Redrick would like to just do that, we have much more pressing worry. The storm which hit our village shattered the cliffs and dropping rocks on our brain cases. Many help hands for the pot sworn were injured. This is no time for feats or metal tests. I'm sorry to hear that. After learning what the storm did the stairs, I feared you've been caught in its path. Uh, not to change the subject, but who are the pots sworn? Goldsmiths contracted to work for the Moblins. The word comes from the pot like worships. Where they practice their craft. The Moblins provide these pots worn with tools, materials, living quarters, everything that the artisans could possibly need. This allows them to concentrate on producing what is widely known as the finest gold and metalwork in Toril. Wait, you're... Oh, okay, that's... This is unacceptable. I was promised no distractions. For a second there, I thought it was that guy, but no, it's not. This is the best they can offer. I should have never left Waku Mikiki. You see, the pots won't desert us. Without enough healthy help hands, we are falling to up failing to uphold our side of the pot pack. Should all the bar pots won't leave, Earth and Shire will grind to a halt. We have to do something to do so do it soon. Then let us stand in for the injured helpers. It would give me a chance to learn more about your people and your village. If it brings us closer to the beginning of that feat, then all the better. I got a feeling this is in the way of the feat. This isn't strictly part of the contest, so don't feel obliged to join in. Take a rest while you can. You know, I could use a nap. And let me get what Bader said. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling. What Bader means to say is he'll, that is, we'll all help. I doubt any of us could just sit behind and watch. You'd be shocked for what I can do, man. I was hoping you'd feel that way. I was, I actually wasn't sure I could do some of my own. We'll take every help hand we can get. Radrick. Oh, Rad Iraq. Oh, Rhetoric. Ha. I, okay. Okay. It's Rhetoric. That's better than Red Rock. Truth, truth swears that once the pot sworn have their perfect workshops again, we will commence the feat with all haste. You and the third promise can assist, assist help hand Rock. Rock a rock. Rack a rock. You other four follow rhetoric. 
there are other help hands in need of le lending. Well, so much for taking that nap. I really appreciate you pitching in. Well, I decided to, yes. Uh, it was my choice. I meant what I said back at many fires. There'll be no more feigning strength, no more playing at being an invisible promise. If there's one thing I've learned on this journey is how practical you are at aiding those in need. Well, we only know each other for a couple, like, what, four hours, five hours now? Well, no, actually more like six. And I mean to take the most of having such an incredible mentor at my side. Ooh, let me not mentor. Nope, I'm not a mentor. Now let's find this Rockerock, Rackerock, Rackerock, and fellow and see what we can do for him. Ugh. In the way, I'm that human uh, companion her father traveled with. I think that's we're just mirroring his escapade. Rackerock, there you are. All right. I think I found our help hand. First, we'll solve this problem for the moblins, then we'll set about completing our feet. Rackerock. Rackerock. <laughs> Rakarok can't meet his obligations without more health hands. The pot pack is broken, and the pots are emptying. We're here to help. You've come to aid Rak Rakarok? Rakarok accepts your uh, hand lending with joyous field smiles. If we can offer the pot support their promised good living, we might save the day yet. Whatever you need. Alright, we're gonna get the chest gear. Rackerock needs help learning about the pot sworn. Kahi. Oh man. What Rackerock needs is the for new help hands to create good living for pot sworn Kahi. The help hand assigned to Kahi was hurt during the rock ring. So Rackerock took over, but he knows nothing about Kahi. What does Kahi want? What does Kahi need? Help hand, do not bother the pot sworn with straight tasks. Our job is to observe and anticipate, to prepare things with guess think. Please, guess think with Rakarok. Find out what Kahi is lacking so we can provide it. You can count on us. Kahi is only one of many pots sworn in need of caretaking. We thought through the night with no sleep and rest, but there are too few of us to go around. Alright, so we're gonna have to watch this Kahi and figure out what he needs. Okay, or she, I don't knew if they said this is where that uh where kahi works is it let's take a peek inside then all right let's see looks like it's hot very hot this must be kahi it'd be a lot quicker if we just talked to him but that's not the way they do things around here apparently We'll have to leave him be and try some of our, uh, try hand at some guest think. Yeah, inspect the workshop. Well, he's hot for one. He was waving his hand in front of his face. I can immediately tell you that. All right, so let's see. I'm just looking. He must be boiling since so close to the furnace, and there's no airflow to speak of. How can anyone work in this stifling heat? He probably can't. Those tools look pretty worn down. Maybe it's time for some new ones? Oh. Man, this is a crafter's paradise in Final Fantasy, isn't it? Well, he has no shortage of crafting materials, there must be something else he's missing. He's barely touched his meal. The dish is meant to be eaten hot, or it loses its savor. Was it savor or flavor? Hmm. Well, he's hot. Open a window for one. Give him a drink of water. All right, after taking a good look at him, I think I have an idea of what things Kahi might want to improve his working conditions. Let's head back outside and talk to Rakarok. 
So he needs new tools and airflow and water. Probably water. All right. Come on, let's share what we observed with Rakarok. <laughs> you made your observations. What do you guess thinks? First off, I noticed Khan he hasn't touched his food. And an empty belly can't be good for his concentration. Maybe the cooking isn't to his liking. But our food is very mouth-pleasing. Why wouldn't he want it? Ah, uh, but Rakarok is sure of nothing when it comes to Kahi's tastes. I can help you with that. My brother Ko Kona is also Hetasaro. Hit Hit wait, Hitasaro. Hit Hitasaro. And while everyone has their personal preferences, there are some they tend to share, like an aversion to piping hot dishes. If it was brought to him like that, Kahi probably wouldn't have been able to eat it until cool down. And by the time he came back to it, he might have found it cold and appetizing. The simplest solution is to serve a dish that tastes good no matter what the temperature. Rakrok never would have thought of that. But if they promised, mind exampling these things to our cook. Not at all, but I don't think that was the only reason Kahi couldn't concentrate. The Hestaro homeland is hot and dry, but even Kahi seems to be suffering in front of the furnace. Is there a way you could cool down the workshop? Oh, we could try a dry shaft. They make a lovely breeze. A drafty shaft. Do you know where we can get one of those? You can gather them at the shoals of no return. There are many old boats there, abandoned by those who gave up on their search for the Golden City. So, we salvaged them from the wrecks. Could you handle that for us, Bader? I guess. I'm here. You go talk to the cook. Oh, one more thing. From what I can tell, Kahi fly up. Kahi's files and saws and things were very worn down. Maybe a new set of tools is in order. Aha! Uh -huh. Rakarok is too preoccupied with stock and materials. A serious oversight which he will rectify. Supplying good tools for good living is help hand's responsibility. Then we all have work to do. We can meet back here when our tasks are done. The shoals of no return are past the crags through the tunnel southeast of here. You should be able to spot the passage just outside the village. Roger, Dodger. Let's see what it looks like in here. I could technically talk to Kahi. Let's see. Phew. Just few. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. You're not supposed to talk to him. All right, so this is the way to go. Bagna Brock. All right, there's a vantage point. The Shoals of No Return. What is that? All right. Oh, hey guys. You're a baiter, aren't you? Who brings you out here? I'm looking for the place. Odd ah, issue with caring for the pot sworn. When they approach me with the same problem, I suggest they commission artisans from Charleon instead. The, the quality and craftsmanship would be guaranteed. Would be guaranteed after all. All right, but the moblins did not care for that idea. Surely it'd be more effective to engage a uh, uniformly trained collective. I can't understand their fixation on individual contracts. Perhaps the custom will make more sense once we begin the feat of pots. Until then, we've been deemed unfit to assist in the matter of help hands, and are instead tasked with tending to the injured. We were on the way back from procuring herbs for Urian J, in fact. Settlements in Kazmauka, too, have been isolated by the storm's destruction. What would have become of the wounded had we not f uh, found a way here? Should I become Dawn's servant? One well, my first ask would be to establish a reliable trade route to the capital. When I imagine how much good we can achieve with Charlie and technology. Well, he he's getting there. A very safe trade route is a good idea. My apologies, I have much to consider. If you excuse us. 
We'll meet again soon, I, I'm sure. Take care, Bader. But yeah, he's getting there. You're right. You do need safer and more... Dependable trade routes. But not everything's about technology. And I think maybe he's going to be like a sister and learn that throughout this trip. You spot the tunnel opening. Head through the passage of the Shoals of No Return and recover a drafty shard. It's not, So what is the dra a drafty shard? It's just going to be like a, a crystal? But it's a wind crystal in a way? I don't know. Oh, right. I got the weapon coffer. I'll have to see which weapon. Um, let me see. I don't have Dragoon's weapon. I can do a Dragoon Lance. I got Samurai's sword, so that's good till 665. Also, I have to figure out who wants that body piece. I could probably do that for my healer. But I'd rather give it to someone who actually needs it rather than someone who looks good with it on. Another Aether Current, I see. No, it's a fiery orange crystal. I'm not doing that. A Maldoro. Malboro. Malboro. Alright. Yay. Okay, uh, let me just... Let's interact with these, but I know I'm looking for a green one. The crystalline shard is faintly warm to the touch. It does not appear to be the wind crystal you seek. You want the bright green, but then there's a pale blue. Let me guess, the pale blue makes the room feel damper, if I had to guess, which with the heat would be awful. Oh, man, you wouldn't be able to breathe, probably. Let's see. The crystalline shard feels damp in your hands. Yeah, I thought so. So that would bring the room to a damp, more damp. And with that heat, it'd be awful. Let's do the bright green crystal. The crystalline shard emits a soothing whisper of wind. It seems you found the rack, uh, the crystal rack rock sent you to salvage. All right, and he should be getting the tools, and she should be getting a new meal for him from the cook. Oh yeah, you know what? Uh, get off the mount real quick. Let's change my class up. Let's get a weapon for Dragoo. Oh, never mind. I have that. Okay. Um, who needs it? You're not of level. Uh, summoner has their, machinist has theirs. I guess we're doing bard again, honestly. Oh wait, dancer? No, dancer also has theirs. Okay. Scholar doesn't have one, actually. And I haven't played Scholar in a while, so let's use it. Scholar got a crocodile skin codex. I mean, it's a level 92. I can't equip it. Mm, but I have it now. Okay. Because using on my classes at the moment that are leveled up, uh, well, not anyone except my sage can equip it, but even my sage wouldn't really need it. Well, my sage actually will be, be able to use it in one dungeon, not even. But yeah, I'd be using that for these two have been useless. Use it for another one who I haven't made a relic weapon for. Jungle Iguana. Yeah, the stats on that aren't bad. Also, what are my tombstones looking like? Yeah, I haven't really done anything with those. I've been busy playing Elden Ring and other things. I haven't done my dailies. I've just been doing story, which honestly is fine. It's not like I'm in a rush to get to the end game anyways. I'll be beating the story way after everyone else, because man, even the first day the early access came out, people just beat the story by just instantly going through it. And now I'm just doing my thing. Cool breeze, Rock Rock feels. Let's see. This brisk breeze emitting, brisk breeze emitting from this wind crystal can be used to fill sails or cool stuffy workshops. Ah, they will use wind crystals to fill their sails. So if the wind's not in their direction or have no wind, there we go. Ah, that's actually, hmm. I feel we knew that from earlier, but hmm. It's been so long. Yes, thank you for seek finding a drafty shard. Rakarok will add it to the new set of tools he brought him. Oh, uh, he brought. And I've come bearing good t uh, good food tidings. The cook has prepared a feast fit for the most discerning Pathstaro 
and it's on its way even as we speak. Excellent. Let's go in and see what Kahi thinks of our efforts. I would find it hilarious if he just leaves in a rage, but I think it'll, it should all be fine. We have three of his needs, which I think he's been wanting. There we go. There's all the food, the tools, and the shard. I can hear him putting it. Hey, he looks happier already. I was wondering what occasion called for me to receive so many visitors. A fine meal. New tools, a welcome source of cool air. I remember why I signed a pop pack. I'm grateful for your kind consideration. Allow me a moment or two, and I'll recuperate with a, a piece of worthy of pot sworn. That's a decent looking bowl. An old lamp to brighten the halls of Volakshunsa. The craftsmanship says that yeah, satisfies Earthenshire's reputation for quality, I trust. Oh, that's an oil lamp. Such luster, such brilliance, truly a gift fit for the dawn servant. I'm glad I like it. Considering the time I've wasted till now, I hope to continue crafting at this improved pace. I have a contract to fulfill after all. Alright, well we're good here. Forgive my interruption. Lama T. I am told the Elector has deemed the crisis past and is prepared to task to task us with defeat. That's great news. Thank you for letting me know. So this is the craft of Pog Sword. It is indeed a masterful piece. Give me your words of praise, second promise. I drew inspiration from the from Cosmouka's natural beauty and sought to capture it in my work. I wonder why the Moblins did not simply build a workshop in the city, and now I have my answer. Even Charlie and Goldsmiths could not easily replicate such exquisite artistry. He's learning! One cannot create great things if one's lacking creative in impotence. Tolio, fortunately, does not want does not want for inspiration. Anyone wishing to learn the basics of craft would well study it there. I was raised among Hethasaro, more tra more traditional than most, and the shared ingenuity of Turl's vision ver ver various peoples was eye-opening. Oh, you didn't like that. You lived as a traditional pet sorrow? I have few fond memories of a of nomadic life. Yeah, he didn't like that. So he probably didn't have a good life before he got adopted. But just like her, he's gonna probably grow as a character because already he's seeing why they go they're out here, away from the main city, and they hire contractors and not, you know, Charlians and all that. Rakronka is very grateful to you. No problem. I thank you both for uh, both your hard work and clever guest think when it comes to help handing. Knowing the pot sword really is important. Well, that's true for pretty much everyone you meet. It's a lesson I've had drummed into me several times already on this journey. Kona, you're gonna give me pants. Kona has details to share considering the forthcoming fee of pots. The Elector bids the claimants assemble in the large building on the west side of the village. I will head over after finding Thancred around Jay. Ah, I also ran to Leva... Leva... Oh, the Leva... Oh, I know. The yeah, twins on the way here. I took liberty of uh, directing them to the venue. Right, they were off doing something else. I forgot what. Right, healing. They're healing. We're rivals. It's not his job to make sure I know the feet starting. But even now, his... He's cons... 
ostentatious to a fault. Anyway, let's not keep rhetoric waiting. All right, let's find rhetoric. I need some rhetoric. All right, I got the chest piece. Not sure what chest piece I'll go for. I'll probably just hold on. I might hold on to these. So you're gonna see my inventory fill up because there's really no one yet to my classes that needs it. Rudrick thanks you for assisting help hand Rakarok. She will announce defeat once the other claimants arrive, so please be patient a little while longer. Okay. Now what would this one be? I think this is a cutscene cutscene, so I could probably just do this. Never mind. I'm happy to report that we were able to convince more of the Ponce Sworn to stay. How did you fare? Likewise. So you managed to do the same. Splendid. What was that noise? Oh, her brother's here. Welcome to Earth and Shy, First Promise. We support your plans for salt crossing and new pot sworn they will bring. Help the mighty Zoral Ja. He cleared many piles of rockfall as if they were pebble stones. The resilient son of the Dawn Servant. Zoral Ja was clearing a fall of rocks. I'm surprised he would volunteer his time for anything unrelated to the contest. Well, well, we meet again. Oh, yay, the idiot. Just in time for the feat to begin. I'll bet he was already here laying low while the rest of us did all the work. Yeah, I know that makes sense. He's just hiding, waiting. Well, not hiding, but just, you know, relaxing and all that until we're done with his work. Claimants, your attention, please. And also, yes, I'm not going to keep going. <laughs> As Rhetoric has explained, many of our Potsworn left us following the storm. The precious bell work crafted by the artisans bring in much jingly shine? Jingly shine from across the salt. Should our stream of trades, trade goods dry up, Earth and Shar will suffer. Churlio merchants will suffer. So Rhetoric sets you this feat. Each of you are to find one clever hand goldsmith to bring back here to us. I immediately can think of ours. So, we're to recruit a new pot sword. Makes sense for the Fiat Pots. Calling this a feat does not justify taking advantage of the claimants and their influence. How's one find how does finding workers for you demonstrate their worthiness for the throne? You are free to refuse Rhetoric's request. She'll be happy to inform the Dawn Servant of Zoral Shah's disqualification. The right is a means to an end. The steps we take to get there are not important. Then Rhetoric declares the Fiat Pot's begun, but remember, a pot pack must be agreed willingly. No grab, snacking, snatching, or deceit, deceit, deceitful tongue flaps. Okay, so I immediately know where we're going because the main town has the one guy who we helped get a job. Lecter said nothing about taking a willful arson from our rival. Which exact which is exactly what we should do. Yeah. <laughs> a fine suggestion, brother. I'm glad you think so, brother. Come, let us lay our plans. You know we can hear you. The nasty brute is up to something. Aye. He may seek to delay us again, as he did on the river, but we can remain vigilant while we plot our course. Guys, I immediately know who we're gonna get. What do you think, Walk Lamont? Have any candidates in, my, candidates in mind to satisfy this feat? We helped him. I know some arsons among my supporters, but they're all in their twilight years. I couldn't ask them to give up the comforts of Tilio to live in this remote village, no matter how beautiful the scenery. Meanwhile, Kona probably has a hundred young craftspeople to choose from. Not that I'm comparing us, you understand. That's just a statement of fact.
Hmm, I suppose we could try asking around Wakamukiki. That seems like a logical, logical place to start. Back to Tulio it is. I know who we're getting. Wait, does that mean we have to take the boat again? Wait, we tuned the crystal. We could just fast travel. Oh, no. No, 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 I can't do it. I can't stomach another boat ride. You said I should share my burdens, so I will speak plainly. Truth is, I get really sick on boats. I think we've noticed. Buck Lamont, this is hardly news. But it was brave of you to admit. In any case, we won't be fighting the current this time. Hand down river will be much smoother. It will? Are you sure? Oh wow, she has watery eyes. Look at those watery eyes. I'm positive, mostly. Police car. Yeah, I don't think it went that smooth, judging by what I'm seeing. <laughs> what obstacle will let Baku Jaja throw us throw us next? Or will he try something more direct? They mentioned the pot sword in our case required a constant stream of encouragement in order to craft. Four of us must have chanted the same cheer dozens if not hundreds of times. Aaronville was scolded more than once for not cheering loudly enough. <laughs> Wakulamut suffers from a terrible bout of seasickness. I wish I had a spell or a potion that would ease her nausea. I produce many unusual items from clients, but meeting the personalized needs of a pot sworn is not an experience I care to repeat. Ugh, I need a moment. Up, up river or down river. Ikahatuma is too rough for me. The nausea is a bit more bearable now that I've stopped trying to hide it. I'd still rather not set foot on a boat if I can help it. Oh, I think I'm ready. Let's see if Master Robley can help us recruit a pot sworn. I know who we're recruiting! Dungeon! But yeah, I, I immediately know who we're going for. Let me see, are there any new, like... Nope, not really. Okay. I could go this way. Yeah, why not? But yeah, I immediately know who we're getting, so this is no question. Now, I wonder if he's still with them, because he was supposed to start. Wakumakiki is the gathering spot for many skilled artisans of all kinds. If we're to find a post pop Oh, we are saw flashing because my lamp's uh a lamp behind me is uh light bulbs going. So this is Wakumakiki. The Wakumat was talking about. I had yet to make the, it this far my wanderings. Aaronville brought us here on my our first tour of the city, but time did not permit a close look. Should like to observe these masters at work. Surely, at least one person will answer Wakulamot's Waku call to poor Potsworn. Maybe Master Ropley can help us. I know who we're getting. Ooh, the fresh harbor air is just what I needed. Ropley, how you doing? Hey, where's that guy again? The jeweler who left Air Eorzea? Greetings, Third Promise. What brings you to Wakamakiki? You've not chipped your axe again, have you? No, Master Robley. Actually, I have a favor to ask. So, what do you think? Do you know any master, any craftsmen who might be interested? Glitching my artisans for the moblins, eh? Well, seeing it's a third promise making the request, I'm willing to look the other way if one of them decides to take you up on the offer. 
Only I can't think of a suitable candidate, a candidate off the top of my head. Who do I know with the Master Goldsmith thing that would also have no qualms about relocating to Earthenshire? What about the Eorzean Goldsmith? What about him? You mean Fontaine? He did say he was employed at some fancy jeweler uh, store across the Sol. Considering the distance he's already come, I like to think he wouldn't mind moving a little upriver. That said, he's only just gotten himself a new job. Is it too soon to ask him to sign a pop pack? There's no harm in making an offer once he hears how well the pot sworn are treated. He may even jump at the chance. Either way, you won't find Fontaine at his workbench at this hour. He's finished for the day. Probably enjoying the meal at Zob... Zobli of Ta Tea. Then maybe you should go talk to him. Just you and me, since he knows us. We'll want him to feel intimidated by having the deal of crowd of new faces. The two of us can handle it. Take a rest at the cabins if you like. Oh, you, I see they're allowed to take a rest, but I'm not. Right, let's go see a man about pot. So Baku Zaza, I got feeling it's gonna be stealing. Well, the thing is, is how do you steal someone who wants to be a pot sworn if someone else has already recruited them? That's the thing. They want to steal somebody. And even the moblins are like, yeah, we don't want you to use lies, cheats, or anything. We want them to come on their own free will. Hmm. So I wonder what they're gonna do with this. Also, there's crafters right there. Yeah, I'm just not a crafting type. Alright, we're here. Downstairs? Okay. Hey, Fontaine. How you doing? Ugh, I'm not... I'm still not sure about this. Hey, buddy. Oh, Bader, you're here too. The Thermal Promise said she wanted to chat. Just finished eating, so shall we find a quiet spot outside? Don't get kidnapped now. Literally, that is an issue. Probably. Oh, that is weird. I'm trying to take the lid off my water bottle. Take a sip, but it's not coming off. Oh, come on, man. The last time we talked on the speech, you were a miser in a miserable state. Uh, yes, I was, wasn't I? A lost soul until two of you came along and helped me rediscover my purpose. A new place of employment has been most welcoming. For the first time in a long time, I feel content with my lot in life. That's wonderful. So, what was it you wish to discuss? Well, it's hard to ask this right after you settled in. I'm looking for someone to become a pot sworn. Ah, I've heard my fellow colleagues mention this term. That's when Arson signs a contract and work for the Moblins, isn't it? But you're not a Moblin? I'm not sure I understand. It's for a feat in the right succession. I need to bring a new pot sworn to Earth in the Shire. So that's the way of it. We've just barely met, and after pushing you to work at Wakamukiki, I'm now demanding you to throw away the sign and sign a pop pack instead. It's a selfish request, I know. I have something to tell you, Third Promise. The day, the other day, I completed the necessary procedures for immigration. I'm pleased to say I am now official subject of Tulio. I since endeavored to learn why I can't have a new nation, beginning with the rice succession, the claimants, including you, of course. My water bottle's still not opening. Come on! Ugh. What's wrong with you? I am thirsty. Give me water. I'm an idiot. I'm not so. Uh, there's a latch on the top. Now, you will recall, it was my promise example which led me to pursue goldsmithing. Oh, much better. I didn't know it actually went down. Huh, I just got that water bottle. He was at the east end of the Garlean forces, laid siege to the settlement, and in the ensuing chaos, he was slain. 
took him from me in an instant. May I love and admire. I never wish to suffer such a loss again. And, and so, as much as I'm indebted to you for, for turning my life around, it's as it is as a fellow peace-loving Turlio uh, that I wish I want that I want you to win the throne. If I can help you achieve that by signing a pop pack, then I shall gladly do so. Hot and tang. Thank you. I shall return the master rope in the form of my decision. Allow me. I'm the reason you're leaving, so it should be me to deliver the news. Hey, you know that new worker you just hired? We're stealing it. Perhaps you don't remember me. Brock Evu, owner of the Zablav T. I'd like a word with you if you don't mind. You're a Waklamut's ally from across the Salt Reich, and you're of some renown too, if the gossips to be believed. I mean, I did kill a god in outer space, but that's a different story. Well, as it so happens, I could use some heroic help. It doesn't need to be right now, but could you come to me when you have a spare moment? Sorry, there's a bug in front of my face, so I was trying to get it. Got it. Keep a little thing. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting for you outside my shop then. It's been raining a lot lately, and oh wait, you can now access the roll quest. Speak to oh, really? You can access them now? Usually they're level ninety. Uh, it will be level ninety. No, what's there? I mean, that's a later thing. I will do that later. Yeah, I will be doing world quests later. I usually... A sad thing uh, is I've never fully done the world quests, even in um, Shadowbringers when they started the uh, shared quests. I've never finished those either. I never even did the ones in uh, Endwalker. But these ones I'll do. I'll do. Fontaine. It, be I'm it feels ungrateful for me to... My bugs are in my room today. Holy cow. This is what happens when you open your window after it rains. Shouldn't do that. It's just the tiny little flies that annoy me. I feel it feels ungrateful to leave so soon after Master Ropley granted me employment. Surely he'll understand. I do this for the future of Tulio. Alright, tell me how you're stealing his work. <laughs> Master Ropley, I'm sorry to tell you this, but, uh... Fontaine has agreed to sign the pop pack, yes? While it's a shame to lose a capable goldsmith, to have one of our own handpicked to serve the third promise is a great honor for the Wakumakiki. I appreciate your understanding. Of course, if you happen to know any other talented artisans, regardless of their expertise, I hope you send them my way. It could even be yourself, if you're so inclined. Ah, so that's a way to give you a hint. Hey, craft for us. Keep that in mind. Though my time here was brief, I will not forget your kindness, Master Ropley. I am blessed to have these workshops be my first home in Tulio. Come back to us if the Moblins cut you loose. You'll always have a job here at Wakamakiki. My throat's a little sore this morning. That's why I tried to get a sip of water, because it's a little dry. I expect you to want to leave the Earth and Shire as soon as possible. I'll go pack my things. Now, is this going to be a smooth trip, or is someone getting kidnapped? Oh. Link shell. Link pearl. What has become a Fontaine? Were you able to find him? We did, and he's agreed to become a pot sworn. We'll leave when he's ready. But you still have a little time. Splendid. We shall meet you at the Anion. If he disappears, he got kidnapped. I have plenty of reasons to win the contest. And now I have one more. Fontaine's putting his faith in me. And I won't let him down. I mean, I think he'll also enjoy being a pot sworn after seeing what they will do for their crafters. Feed them, give them necessities. Ah, now, yep, I can now do deliveries at Wakamakiki. By the way, I hope I'm pronouncing it Wakamakiki from now on. But yeah. I need a level 90. Alright. So now a lot of crafting. 
haven't leveled those up, so I won't be talking to you probably ever. Wakulamut, let's go. A father first. Wakulamut needs to pay a visit to the palace. I'm gonna get some shoes. Six fifty-five. Right then, I have something. Uh, I have some things that need to be taken care of at the palace. While you can pass time, uh, while while you can pass the time you'd like, I suggest you head back to the cabins. After all, even heroes need a rest. And we still have a big journey ahead of us. It is true. You can't just keep traveling and doing quests and all that all the time. A, he a hero does need a rest. So, let's go. Hey, and keep... Oh, hi, messenger. At last. Welcome back, sir. You had Lance Guard Messenger most anxiously waiting for your return. Vader of the Third Promises Entourage. I found where the sea looking for you. The Dawn Servant summons you to the palace. You are to present yourself to the gate guard station outside Sun Perch at your earliest convenience. Oh, and one more thing. You are not to mention this visit to Uncle Mud. Oh. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I think we're about to get some story bits if I'm going privately to the king, the Dawn Servant himself. Eh, yeah, those are some big doors. Alright, let's go. Now, why am I coming in private and not telling anybody? What's he gonna tell me? Oh, that's an... We're fighting. I am fighting her father. Okay. Oh, right now. Makes sense. Because he loves fighting. He wants to see me. Okay. That 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 glow tells me I'm fighting him. <laughs> the Dawn Servant awaits you within. While I was not informed of the reason for your audience in terms of attire, I would suggest... Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I kind of guessed it. Well, I'm fighting the Dawn Servant. Okay. I'm immediately going to put this on because I got a feeling he's going to talk to me and actually use his voice. Hello, sir. Forgive me this sudden summons. When I learned my daughter's champion was back in the city, I couldn't resist the opportunity. Resolve for good reason. Old as I am, I have not lost a battle worthy of the name since the day I took the throne. Okay, so I did not expect to win this battle. <laughs> and I've been craving a proper challenge. The land's welter, Stinian. He fought well enough, but our bout was ended before a victor could be decided. Judging by the sailor's gossip, you are a warrior of renown in your homeland. Yet I wonder, with all your deeds done and victories won, are you warrior enough to stand against me? Uh, I don't think you can set a new goth in my face, so I might have a chance. Why don't we find out? <laughs> hey, you spirited answer. Why not indeed? Oh. <laughs> the battle rages 
close upon me. I'll stop short of killing you, of course. But expect no other mercies. Well, I'm glad oh, I'm going as a gunbreaker. Ready your arms. And show me the truth of the tales. I can at least do some heals. If I was DPS, I have had bloodbath, but I kinda be screwed if I was a machinist. Alright, let's do this. I wasn't expecting to fight her father today, but. Ooh, where the team's playing. Let's do this. Give me. Give me your all. I want a fight to remember. Uh-oh, I don't know what's happening. I now know what's happening. I'm sucking right now. This woman did not lie. Very well. Uh oh, is this gonna be a thing? We solve that with some key. Oh, you can still cast spells with the other side sleeping. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, I'm healing, so I'm not worried. Ah, okay. So this would heal you over time no matter what. I mean, I'm gonna pop this right now because I am hurting. Ha! Did you think you had my measure? Take this! I just screwed myself. Wait for it. Yes, it worked. We're far from finished. Um. Uh oh. Baku Jaja. Oh, no, sorry. Garu Jaja, what are you doing? Alright, okay. I immediately see what we're doing. Man, they chose a really good spot to play this music, eh? No more holding back! Well, you're holding back. Alright, immediately Nebula. Tank Tower. Stay alert! Fancy blade work, wait, now. Come on. In the middle? What does that mean? Oh, that's what it means. Oh, I 
shouldn't have popped that yet. I like, wasted a bullet. Wait. Okay, so stand here. Alright. We're good. Oh, I'm going forward? Uh, take me there. gonna hurt. Not much I can do, but Rampart. You really are formidable. I try, sir. Uh-oh. I don't like what's happening. This just got busy. Now we'll see what you're truly made of. Nebula. Beautiful. Uh oh. Well, this isn't good. He might win this. Come on, baby! I'm not letting you beat me! Oh dear. Oh, this is actually getting hard. Oh, oh dear. Okay. That will do. You've shown me more than enough. Oh, Damn. I think I had it. That was a good battle. <laughs> and on top of that, they chose the best song to go with it. The song from the trailer. I brought my full strength to bear against opponents before, but you are the first to withstand it. Even with my head of reason asleep, I never expected you to give me so much trouble. Hestinian <laughs> did not exaggerate. You are a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I feel bad for the people that have to fix the ground after he stabs the sword in it all the times and blasts it with fire. But with, I wonder if his, well, his other head has to wake up sometime, and then we'll see him at full power. There's no way we're never not going to see it. When that head wakes up, we're in trouble. Or he's in trouble, or the place is in now, trouble. A confession. I said I crave a challenge, and that was no lie. But I had another reason for coming. I have a feeling. I had to judge for myself if you were fit to attend my beloved daughter. I thought he was about to say, except her hand in marriage. Oof. In some <laughs> respects, she is much like me. Hard-headed and prone to rush into danger. But one with your adamant defense could shield Amati from those who would do her harm. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? Address me not as the ruler of Tuliola. But a concerned father. Thank you. Then tell me, given your journey together thus far, what is your impression of Lamati? Ah, I bet we have a choice, right? Hmm. Whether he be as their promise or just a companion on the road, speak your mind. Ah, 
Okay, so remember when she said she has stuff to do at the palace. I got a feeling she's actually in earshot and will hear what we say. But I mean this when I say she is young but has potential. Ha! A tactful response, but agreed. She is not ready for the throne. Not yet. Hmm. Lama T thinks she understands our many peoples. Their histories, their cultures, their beliefs. But she knows only what she's seen in the capital. And it's not only her who concerns me. Even this early in the contest, you must have realized. Your son? As potential rulers, all four uh, claimants are lacking. Yeah, each one's lacking a different area. Majorly in some. This is why I elected to hold the right of succession. Not to choose a fitting candidate, but to cultivate one. I noticed. I guess that. And if no one has impressed me by the end of it, then to no one will I yield my throne. As a parent, I pray that my children rise to the occasion. <laughs> With outsiders dragged into my game, I am also hopeful that the different perspectives you and your companions have to offer will inspire them to grow. I imagine you in particular have traveled many lands, know many peoples and cultures, loved them and been loved in turn. Yeah, quite a few actually. Guy Lama Chi as you think best. Walk at our side and, when needed, push her to walk ahead. I knew it. Uh oh. There I was, about to sit down for some of Namika's cooking, when I heard that Papa had sent for you. We were just fighting. You were dueling behind my back, weren't you? No. <laughs> I see there is no point in denying it. You needn't worry, daughter. I took care not to inflict lasting injuries. Well, uh, maybe. I lost an arm, maybe. Uh. You and your ally may return to the contest without disadvantage. No harm done. I swear, just as I was learning newfound respect for my father. Let's take our leave of this battle-mad oaf before he calls on the rest of my entourage. I hate to say, I don't think Elfinode would do very well. Alize could maybe last longer, but she would still lose. And uh, I don't think Aaronville even has a chance. Watch over her, champion. It's my job. It's what I was brought over to do. Kona's recruits are no less sharp, as one might expect of Galof's countrymen. They saw the flaws in our claimants from the outset. The other two, though. They dismiss comrades willing to point out their shortcomings, and no good can come of it. No, there's gonna be a fight between us and those two at one point. They're not going to team up. I'm saying we're going to have to fight both of them at one point. Especially Baku Jaja. Okay, so she actually didn't hear any of that. Okay, I was expecting... All right. Hey. If 
he had it his way, Papa would keep dueling until the day he dies. Even now, I only know only three people who didn't need to be carried away after their bouts. Zoro Ja, your lance-wielding Francinian, and yourself. You really do live up to your fearsome reputation. I'm curious though, did Papa want anything else for you? Just a sparring partner, honestly. Well, that was that's all it was. Aqua Monk thinks it's time to gather her allies for the road ahead. I still ha haven't gotten a, uh, one bite of Nama Nami Namamika's food, thanks to Papa's nonsense. So I'm going back to finish my plate before I head out. If otherwise asked, everyone, I've otherwise asked everyone to meet at four the four hour cabins. Come and join us after you have a moment to recover. Eh? All right. Ooh, something I thought of, and what I can do is I can use these, get the tank set, and I can make a glamour with it. Because it is actually pretty decent. Why not? Like I said, I'm changing my gear for the story. Time to change it up a bit. I just need the gloves, which I'm getting from this, and now I'm with the glamour from it. Let's go. Yeah, I'll make a glamour with this set. Wear it. And after that, I can actually wear new equipment. My equipment's still too good. Well, technically, I could put the gla this on. Let's see. Oh, wait, it's actually better than what I'm wearing. Never mind. It's my weapon. Right, right, right. My weapon. Oh, man, my throat hurts today. I swear if I'm getting a bacterial infection again. I think it's just because I woke up early and... I start talking basically immediately. <laughs> Which, yeah, kind of sucks. Oh, wait, your companions continue the right succession? Yes. I think we'll do this quest and I'll call. It's gonna be a shorter one, but as you can see, it's 646 and uh, I gotta go to the gym soon. I like to remain, I'm trying to get healthier and, you know, thinner. Hey, everyone, like my new outfit? I just need gloves. Actually, these gloves don't match bad with it. All right, we're all here. Hey, right, okay, then kidnapped, good. Molten Tang. It's hard to keep everyone waiting. Is that it? You're all set to go. I left two years ago, I prepared to travel in search of work, so I had a few belongings to bring with me. Uh, two be- oh, sorry. I had, So I had a few belongings to begin with. Bidding fair. Oh, I forgot to do that. Again, I appreciate you making this commitment, Molten Tang. Shall we depart to Earthshire, then? A word before you go. Wakevu, what are you doing here? Ah, I spent the days correcting manners. And here I am, per per perpetrating the grave offense of delaying the Third Promise's departure. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't. Oh, no. Please, take up your axe and rend my flesh unto taco meat. <laughs> Must your demands be so gruesome? Besides, I told you, I told you that kind of thing doesn't bother me. All right, then. I won't let it bother me either. What was that all about? I'd come to the city to purchase supplies when I spotted your entourage getting ready to leave. You seek the city of gold, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. It's the final step of the right succession. If you know anything about the subject, I'd love to hear it. Then allow me to be a service. As you know, Legends of the Golden City have been passed down in Turl for a thousand years. Yet, when it comes to describing the place itself, the stories do not always agree. Some portray it as one mighty, uh, might expect, a glittering metropolis of golden towers. Others suggest more unassuming and owes the name to a fabulous treasure hidden at its heart. Every telling, however, has a common thread. Those who will, who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The, less, the lesson can, uh, to be learned from this third promise is that to seek the legend is 
to court death. I must implore you to proceed with the utmost care. That is all I wish to say. I shall pray for your safe journey. Thank you, Wakavu. And that's why the, gob the Moblins had a place called the Shores of No Return. For everyone who leaves for the Golden City, do not return. What well, are we to make of these cautionary tales? If every expedition has ended in tragedy, how then do did this Dawn Servant find the city and return without incident? It seems the legend originated with the Yakoi. Speaking with them remains our strongest lead, I feel. A lead we shall follow in time, but first, let's see Fontaine safely into the Moblin's care. It's not weird seeing a different set of armor in the MSQ for me, but I said I'm changing it when I get new equipment, I'm changing it. I'm not going to put glamour on, I'm going to live with my new armor, which honestly, it, this set does look quite good. Honestly, it might look good on a dark night with my nice weapon. Oh, here we go. Cosmouka. Cosma Kiryu. Ah, uh, yeah. Finding a willing artisan was even easier than expected. Many indeed are eager to curry favor with the resilient sun, especially if it means sharing the promise of new territories. Oh, so you had a briber. Those who prove useful will have all the land they desire. Oh, sorry. Oh, actually, wait. Oh, oh my such God. generous words in yes. the manner in which she speaks them. Oh, I'm so glad I found you. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, this is, oh, I'm happy. Not do that anymore. So you found a Viera. If neither wealth nor territory are of value, wherefore does he seek to bring the world to heal? She's gonna get kidnapped. Step aside. Remind me, there was no rule against poaching craftsmen from other claimants, was there? Do not be foolish, Bakul Jaja. <laughs> foolish would be carrying on with these tall feats when all I need to win are the keystones. Remember her father said, even if he gets to the Golden City, if he doesn't find enough fit, he will not step down. It's long past time I humble this arrogant one head. The Don Serrat may have sired you against all odds, but there is nothing blessed about your birth. Only a two head is fit to rule. Only we are worthy. Draw your weapon, face me in battle, and learn your place. A moment, first promise. Leave him alive if you would. I foresee a use for this nuisance. Oh, now I'm curious to see how this goes. Too scared to make the first move. Then allow me. <laughs> oh. I actually wasn't expecting that. My thanks for your restraint. 
I can kill him whenever I please. Okay, so he is gonna be the main bad guy then. <laughs> Your part in this is far from over. So his very son is gonna be the threat, not Paku Jaja. Ah, I actually expect him to actually. Okay. That's how much... Oh, sweet! That actually worked! Thank you for that change, Square. We're back and we brought with us a willing pot, pot swarm. This is Fontaine, a, go a, a talented goldsmith who once worked at... Eshtain's Aesthetics in Ulda. So yeah, that means her brother's gonna be the main antagonist, probably. But he's gonna have Bakul Jaja probably keep getting in our way. And so we're gonna keep going against him. Or he'll keep trying to slow everyone down. Hmm. I guess I should have guessed that one was coming. Wonderful, impressive. You're the first to return with third promise. That's a good sign at least, but the other two are busy. And with the artisan from Cross Assault, no less. We welcome you and your unique skill to the Earthshire. I'll pan will show you the work pop. This is it then. I look forward to hearing your pluck you you pl proclaim Dawn Servant. Thank you, Fontaine. I I'll be sure not to disappoint you. You have met the re requirements of the feet of Pox. Re Rhetoric presents your keystone with joy smiles and well wishing. Ooh, this one's blue, so they are a different color. I wasn't sure the first time. I should have gone back in my video, but they are different colors. Okay. So that's three keystones. That makes three. Ah, and they just brought theirs. And then there's him. <gasps> More pot potsworn candidates. Come tell R R rhetoric your tales. Some okay. So these the two adopted siblings are probably the best candidates. That guy is no, he just wants war. Baku Jaja is out of the running, I believe. He's just going to be a nuisance the entire time. Another feat accomplished. Another keystone acquired. Oh, you are doing well. I expect nothing less of Zaro Jaja's esteemed siblings. Your clever cleverness in particular is most admirable, second promise. We must have you apply that Charlie knowledge you so cherished. An armed tool with weapons of magic tech design. In your role as the new Dawn Servant's chief advisor, of course. I don't think he wants to make weaponry. He wants to make technology that helps the people. The tools of war hold no interest to in me. I only to improve our nation through practical innovations. Yeah, he doesn't want to make weaponry. He wants to make actual like technology that helps the people in everyday life. To improve and make it more efficient. Warm powers will think twice about testing our strength. Once Torlil is known for its advanced technology. Just as the Garlean Empire was deterred from invading Charlian. That may well be true. But how long will it take Tilliel to progress to this advanced state? How many years? With a collective commitment of education and hard work, it should not take... It should not take so very... Hey, man. Your way is too slow. Easier to expand our territory. Swallow Charlian this whole. Conquer other nations through force of arms. And you're looking at a future of uprising and bloodshed. 
Yours wouldn't be the first failed empire. And we keep fighting until the mounting costs convince them to lay down their weapons. Until all have grown tired of the loss. How would such an outcome bring anyone joy? What's What you propose is a mockery of peace. Rhetoric is reminded of days long ago. In the time before Tulio, there were no pot packs or pot or the pot sworn. It was normal to grab snatch artisans and force them to work for mobbies. Until the day Gulu, Gulu Jaja arrived, the families of the grab snatched pleaded with him, and so he came to Earth the Earthenshire. Mobies are not a warm make people. We feared death had come for us. But Gagul Jaja just wanted to talk. Be at ease, we are here to trade words, not blows. The gold work crafted in this village is superb. One can tell at a glance the quality of materials used, the mastery of technique employed. Yeah, it does not stir the heart. The goblet shaped by bound hands and broken spirit is devoid of luster. Compare that now to the works of a joy joyful artisan. She pours her very soul into her creations, and they shine like newly risen sun. Have you not seen this to be true? And so, we so began the custom of good living. Happy pots sworn make good goods, and good works make bobbies happy. Gaglu Jaja words were wise. Joy smiles did indeed bring fine craft and much jiggle shine. So the head of reason was behind the forging of the pop packs. Yes, reason and clever think changed Mobby's way of life. <laughs> the first promise tries tires of your talk of olden days. You would rather look to the future in the next feat. You have an ugly smile. We should get going as, on as well. Baku Jaja never did come back, did he? Do you have a moment, Third Promise? Rakarok, Rakarok would repay you for hand, keep, hand helping with Kahi. He brings a tale of the Golden City. Oh, this is out of the blue. Really, I'd love to hear it. The towers, the streets, all fashioned from gold. Everywhere you look, every splendor you can imagine. The young, the old, and everywhere, everyone in between, they live in golden happiness. A city of eternal bliss, forever perched above the clouds. Everything fashioned from gold, eh? And just imagine everyone living in golden happiness. That's a city I'd like to visit. Excuse me, Rakarok. Where do you hear that particular tale? From our longtime Yakoi friends. They live up in the mountains in Okipaka. Oh, the giants again. Seems everything is pointing us th their way. This feat and everything leading up to it has taught me much about the Moblin way of life. I'll be sad to leave Earth, Earth and Shire on their joy smiles behind. Well, yeah. a little goblin dance. All right, I think that's the end of my quest. Nope, never mind. Oh, and then we have. Two new quests here for the Aether points, but we're about that after. Right, we should go see the giants next. Agreed. Golden mysteries notwithstanding, their village is featured prominently in the saga and is not to be ignored. 
The Orkopaka Highlands should be easy enough to reach from here. If we leave Earthenshire from the west, there's a road which leads up into the mountains. Let's find that first. Darn! I thought the quest was done. Oh, this quest. It's not. Oh man, you're making me travel. Okay. We'll come back for you guys one day. I'm trying to finish this quest before I go to the gym. And then I'll get the gloves. I also then need the headpiece. And then I'll have the set. I'm a 646 right now. In the next dungeon, I should be able to get new, um... Jewelry, because right now everything is at 620, except these are 650. I actually bought new ones. This, if everything's at 650, I got two 620s. Alright, we're here. Oh, we're about to go into a new place entirely. Well, we're to meet the Yakoit last. This road will take us through the mountains of Okipaka Highlands. An ex exhausting route, perhaps, but a straightforward one. One day we're sailing up river, next day we're hiking up mountains. Yeah. The highlands are where the Lay of Proof took place, that being Ga Galu Jaja's encounter with the Akhoi. Oh, whoops, sorry. Talk again? But tis also the stage of the Lay of Ice where heroes fought the monstrous Vilig Vilgarmada. I'm most curious to know where the right will demand of us there. Looks like the trail is going to be a steep one from here on. I hope everyone's ready for some climbing. Good promise. I'm glad I got you. Rhetoric asked me to bring you back to the village. She says there's something she forgot to give you. Huh? Something other than Keystone? Yes, an item of great importance, or so I was told. I sh it shouldn't take long, if you would please follow me. I wonder what this is about. Well, no need for everyone to come. I'll be back in a little while. Trap? Or not a trap? That is my question. I'm eager to continue the Highlands and meet the Yakoi face to face. We have much to learn about them, but I'm not entirely sure what to expect. Knowing Waffle Mutt, she's probably eating sweets behind her backs and forgot to pay the shopkeeper or something equally careless. That'd be hilarious. He, he had a rather interesting hair for here, or should I say a Tanawada. And aka, strange that I never noticed him. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. Okay. I didn't talk to Alize, but I think I know what's about to happen. Prowl just said the magic words. I don't remember seeing him. This is taking quite a while. Just keep waiting for now, I suppose. Actually, that man seems familiar somehow, I just can't place him. I mean, you're- oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Perhaps there were complications. Well, let's wait a little longer. Yeah, I don't think waiting is gonna help us, guys. I think we gotta go. This is getting a little ridiculous. Did she get lost on her way back to find us? But how? There's only one road. I wouldn't underestimate Wakulamut's sense of direction, or lack therefore. Fortunately, she has Link Pearl. Let's see what's keeping her, shall we? Hmm. Not picking up. She's not responding. Perhaps we should all return to Earthenshire. It was Rhetoric who had business with her, yes? Could have been the bandits they were talking about. But no, I got a feeling Baku Zhaja might be behind this. Uh, actually, wait. No, I can teleport. I can teleport. I'm taking the quick way back. This cost me 60 gil. I can get that 60 gil back in no time. Alright, let's end this quest. The Shape of Peace.
Maybe the bandits? I don't know who. Frederick. Back again so soon. We've come looking for Waklamut. Did you not send someone to fetch her? Rhetoric did not. Neither has she seen the third promise since you were last year. Wait, wait. Okay, so quick question, everybody. We were on a straight road from there all the way to the village. How did Waklamut and that guy disappear from the pathway we can clearly see the entirety of that goes right to the village? And how didn't she then see them come into the village? If they didn't, then we should have seen them not enter the village. And who's that man who came for her? Oh, I thought you left already. Where's Lama T? Is she not with you? Well, somehow we lost her. You don't know where she is? How oh, could you let this happen? That thou shouldest worry for thy sisters, understandable. Yet rather than assign, bl assign blame, thine energies are better spent on locating her. I will help you search. This is not how I'd wish a fellow claimant to lose the contest, my sister least of all. In that case, dividing our forces will allow us to cover more ground. Vader and I should work together at least the better to facilitate communication between our groups. Oh, sweet. I'm working with Kona. And the rest of us will split up. Report in what you... Uh, uh, report in should you find anything. Hmm. We'll be on our way as well. Right. Keep in touch. begin our search hey sweet I'm working with Kona now huh yeah wait I like the stress again great path and we were standing mind you there we were there so we didn't see them deviate from the path at all on top that they didn't walk in here because rhetoric didn't see her we are terrible at guarding. Holy cow. All right, let me equip my new gloves. Once again, item comparison. They are better. There we go. I'm getting there. Got some new armor and all that. So, the, us very bad watching people aside, I'm going to be calling it here. Hey, look at that. It's an hour 43 video. There we go. I'm almost level 93. We'll be leveling up in the next episode, definitely. Yeah, till then, I'm gonna do some gym time and all that. I'll see you next time, and, well, goodbye.